Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, the health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010. This is your common sense nutritional, nutritional health program where we discuss common sense strategies, non-medical non-pharmaceutical common sense strategies for healing the body from whatever ails you. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the bright side, Head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur or you like the entrepreneur lifestyle. If you want to make your own hours, work out of the home. If you don't want to have a boss or you want to be your own boss, that's the entrepreneur lifestyle. And it isn't necessarily easy, folks. <laughs> it's not for the timid, that's for sure. But if you have that kind of drive to be your own boss, not to work for anybody else, you definitely want to check out the longevity business, especially if you are the type of person that just likes health stuff, nutrition stuff. Or if you've noticed how health and nutrition have improved your life, the nutrition business is for you. Longevity makes it easy for a one-time $25 fee. You can start your own nutrition business. You can sign up right off brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team if you want to talk to a real person, 866-735-2470 is their number. You can also order products by calling 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel if you're dealing with acne blemishes or you want to prevent acne if you have... Uh, if you have accelerated aging or hyperpigmentation, retinol is the absolute finest anti-hyperpigmentation, non-toxic hyperpigmenting agent. You could use your hydroquinone if you want to lighten your skin, but that stuff is nasty. That's the stuff you get from the doctor's office. Retinol is as, if not more effective than hydroquinone. Plus you get, instead of toxic side effects, you get nutritional benefits. You get anti-aging benefits, more collagen, thicker skin, brighter looking skin, and if you're dealing with acne blemishes, well, those will disappear as well. Retinol, Truth Retinol 5% Gel is available at truthtreatments.com, as is our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with 100% active and functional ingredients, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oils, silicon water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Check them out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. Last program, we were talking about my personal favorite 
non-essential nutritional supplement. I've been using this stuff in my, in my uh, skincare practice as well as in my pharmacy practice for over 30 years since I first heard, actually almost 35 years, I first heard about it in pharmacy school. And I was thinking to myself, well, this stuff is so darn amazing for, and it's the, the number one, number one nutrient or number one medicine really for treating liver poisoning in emergency rooms. I got, I was thinking, well, maybe we should all be using this stuff, especially considering the fact that you can get it in any health food store. It's called NAC, NAC. I know you've heard us, if you've listened to this program, you've heard me talk about it a bunch, because I love the stuff. NAC, NAC, N-acetylcysteine. Basically, it's a form of cysteine, which is an amino acid that has some really tremendous, tremendous detoxification properties. But it's even more than that. It's not just a detoxifier. Even if you know a little bit about nutrition, you probably know that NAC is an important detoxification uh, supplement or nutrient. But later on, we're going to talk about how NAC is becoming more and more recognized for its mental health benefits and for its anti-excitotoxin benefits. We're still really covering excitotoxicity. I always take digress, always digress a little bit on the bright side because there's so much to talk about. We're still talking about excitotoxicity and mental health. And NAC is becoming more and more recognized as a mental health supplement. The relationship between uh, NAC and protecting the brain and protecting the nervous system shines a spotlight on really what I consider to be one of the most amazing features, one of the most impressive features of NAC, and that is its multifunctionality. I love multifunctionality. Multifunctionality meaning you get multiple benefits. With drugs, you get... You don't get any benefits, really. You may get lower test scores, but you don't get any health benefits. You never get health benefits from drugs, with the exception, perhaps, of antibiotics, which maybe will kill, kill bacteria. But for the most part, if you're taking a prescription drug for a chronic long-term illness, it isn't going to do anything for your chronic long-term illness. That's why they always rely on statistics. That's why they always rely on reducing symptoms. That's why they always tell you that your cancer is going to come back. That's why they'll always tell you that your autoimmune disease isn't going away. That's why they'll always tell you you're going to be on this drug for the rest of your life. Why? Because they don't work. They just lower test scores. And on top of that, you end up with side effects. With Nutrients, especially NAC, not only do you get the benefits that you're looking for when you take your NAC, but you get multiple benefits. They're multifunc- it's multifunctional. The nutrients in general are multifunctional, but none is any more multifunctional than N-acetylcysteine. NAC is it's probably its most famous use is as an emergency room remedy. It's found in emergency rooms and hospitals where it's a treatment for liver poisoning, especially liver poisoning from Tylenol, which contrary to popular belief and mainstream opinion and mainstream medical dogma, is not a safe and gentle pain remedy. I know you can get it over the counter and there's an implication that somehow that you can take as much Tylenol as you want and it's just benign and gentle. You just go to the drugstore and get your Tylenol. But as it turns out, it may not be all that benign. According to the statistics, Tylenol, acetaminophen, which is the chemical in Tylenol, may actually be one of the deadliest of all over-the-counter medications. Between 2001 and 2010, according to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 1,500 people in the United States died from accidental Tylenol or accidental acetaminophen overdoses, which according to the news outlet ProPublica is far higher than any other over-the-counter pain reliever. Tylenol or acetaminophen overdoses send as many as 78,000 Americans to the emergency room every year, resulting in 33,000 hospitalizations. And according to the National Institute of Health, it is also acetaminophen poisoning is also the leading cause of acute liver failure. And even if you're not overdosed or poisoned by Tylenol or by acetaminophen, if you're a daily user, you may be up, uh, upping your chances of chronic long-term liver failure. If you're taking acetaminophen every day or, or on a regular basis, say you have arthritis or some kind of inflammatory pain issue, and you're using your, uh, your acetaminophen every day or a couple times a day, you may want to take some NAC with your acetaminophen dose. You may want to take 400 milligrams or so of NAC every time you take some acetaminophen, or at least taking it every day. It's definitely not going to hurt you, and it's only going to provide benefits. And there's so many more benefits to using NAC in addition to helping improve liver health, and helping uh, detoxify the liver, helping protect you if you're dealing with Tylenol or you're taking Tylenol. There's so many other benefits to NAC. We'll talk about that when we come back 
from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Right side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We got lines open for you. Try to call in early, folks, so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, NAC or Tylenol poisoning or excitotoxins or anything, really, if you have any health challenges or health questions, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We have videos and news stories and blog posts up at our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. We have a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com, and you can take a look at our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with 100% active and functional ingredients, no baloney in our Truth Skin Health products. It's a no baloney zone. No preservatives, no fillers, no waxes, no emulsifiers, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You pay only for what your skin uses. Go to your medicine cabinet or, or vanity now. Look at all those products that are there. You know, 90 to 95% of skincare creams and lotions and toners and various potions and, and topicals that you put on your skin, 90 to 95% of it is tap water, chlorinated tap water at that. This is why you have bookkeepers who are in the skincare business, bookkeepers selling skincare products and marketers and bankers and people who know nothing about the skin. This is why you have movie stars talking to you about skin health products or skincare products because it's about the celebrity endorsements. It's not about the skincare product because most of it is water, tap water, chlorinated tap water. If you want to get 100% active and functional ingredients only, if you want, want to pay for only what your skin is using, Check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so if you're taking Tylenol regularly, you know what? If you're taking any drug regularly, you want to be using NAC. If you're drinking alcohol regularly, you want to be using NAC. If you're a cigarette smoker, you want to be using NAC. In fact, NAC's role in the lungs uh, role in protecting the lungs is is one of its most well recognized functions. In addition to NAC being a emergency room remedy for liver poisoning, probably its most important use, or maybe its second most important use, is in the drug mucomist. Mucomist is a is a mucolytic or mucus destroying drug that they give to cystic fibrosis patients. And guess what? It's just plain old NAC. Yeah, as a prescription drug. That's how powerful this stuff is. NAC is a mucolytic agent. It keeps the uh, mucous membranes in your lungs soft and moist. It reduces the irritation that can be caused by pollutants and dust and dry air. And it also helps support the lungs' immune system. I always talk about the immune system in the digestive tract, and indeed the digestive tract is one of the major, so uh, major uh, headquarters of the immune system. The immune, tr immune system, the uh, digestive system where food enters into the blood through the intestine is where most of our immunity is. But there's also a large contingent of immune cells located in the lungs, and NAC helps those lung immune cells do their job. You get NAC as muco mist, but you know what? If you've got lung disease, you've got COPD, you don't want to get COPD, you're smoking cigarettes, you're breathing in dust and toxins, just take NAC regularly. It's well known that smokers can develop a breakdown in their lungs leading to all kinds of symptoms, and following the, that deterioration or that breakdown in the lungs, the body will secrete sticky, globby mucus to kind of protect the lungs against the cigarette smoke. That's called chronic bronchitis, similar to COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. If I had COPD, you better believe I'd be using 800 to 1,200 milligrams of NAC every day. 
COPD tends to flare up periodically, so does chronic bronchitis and to severe attacks. And again, NAC can protect you from having to go, go into a, uh, an ambulance and go to the emergency room or get hospitalized from your lung disease. The more NAC you take, the less of these attacks you get. A review and a meta-analysis of eight double-blind placebo-controlled trials for NAC for chronic bronchitis showed that in uh, all the studies, which totaled about 1,400 individuals, taking NAC daily at a dose of 400 to 1,200 milligrams a day can reduce the number of attacks, acute attacks of severe bronchitis. No one really knows how this stuff works, by the way, when it comes to breaking up mucus, but the fact is it does it so well that it's a prescription drug. And by the way, the prescription drug mucomist is dispensed to cystic fibrosis patients who notoriously produce this thick globby mucus. That's the hallmark sign of cystic fibrosis, and mucomist is used as a cystic fibrosis drug. When I think of NAC, the first thing I think about is detoxification. Indeed, along with vitamin C, maybe vitamin E, there is no better, anti, uh, there no better detoxification supplement that you can take. NAC, vitamin C, vitamin E. I may be missing. Selenium probably has some detox properties too, and selenium and NAC work together, no surprise. Some of the detox uh, the detox power of NAC comes from its chelation properties. Chelation is a magnetic attraction that sub substances have for toxicity. Chelating agents can be injected into the blood. And by the way, for anti-aging, chelate, uh, chelating agents that are injected into the blood, specifically something called EDTA, is absolutely mind-blowing. If you want to live a really long, healthy life, I'm talking about into your 80s and 90s, hundreds. You really want to think about having regular chelation therapy done. I don't care what the American Medical Association says, because they're not into chelation. They think it's quackery. It ain't quackery. It is an amazing health protocol. It's a little bit pricey, but you know what? If, you have, if you're a movie star, you have tons of money, you're using, uh, and you don't care about money, you know, money's no object for you, you're getting chelating. Uh, you're uh, getting your blood chelated. The only downside on chelation is a little bit of a pain in the butt to have to go uh, monthly or a couple times or, or, or every couple of months to get your chelation process procedure done. But you can use oral chelating agents, and that's exactly what NAC is. It's an oral chelating agent. It's a chelating agent. It provides you with chelating, the same chelating benefits that you get from EDTA injected into the blood, but you don't have to go to the doctor or you don't have to go to the chiropractor or the naturopath or whoever, whoever is doing it. And NAC is, is really... It's really ridiculously cheap for what you're getting. For all the multifunctional benefits that you get from NAC, it costs you maybe 10 bucks for a bottle of 100, 400 milligram capsules, 10 or 15 dollars. It's really, really cheap. NAC has a little piece of sulfur on it. It's, a, it's technically a sulfur amino acid. The Na part of the NAC molecule is not as important as the C. The C stands for cysteine, and it's an amino acid. It's found in food. The Na part just makes it a little bit easier for the body to utilize. But cysteine has a little piece of sulfur on it, and sulfur is very magnetic. It has a lot of magnetic properties, and that allows it to magnetize toxins and, and pull them out of the body, especially heavy metals. And this makes NAC the go-to supplement for anyone worried about mercury poisoning, and it is a dentist's choice for folks who are thinking about or who are having their mercury fillings taken out. Sometimes when you remove your mercury amalgams from your teeth, and it's not a bad idea for everybody to think about that at least, uh, to, uh, sometimes when you remove the mercury amalgams out of your teeth, some mercury can get into the blood as part of the process. And that's why using NAC before and after you have your fillings taken out is probably a smart thing to do, and smart dentists always suggest that. All right, I'm Pharmacist Band, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about NAC or detoxification or mercury toxicity or anything we're speaking about here today, excitotoxicity, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products we recommend or we advertise on the bright side, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team 
at 866-735-2470. Okay, got lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll get you here in just a sec. A couple of interesting articles from uh, the Europe annual European Congress of Rheumatology new study for the first time shows a link between passive smoking in childhood and rheumatoid arthritis. Very interesting here. That is, if you're, uh, if you're subjected to breathing cigarette smoke when you're a kid or when you're a baby, apparently, you have an increased risk of not just rheumatoid arthritis, but also something called, something called ankylosing spondylitis, which is very similar. Basically a joint disease. These are, these are autoimmune diseases of the joints. Passive smoking in childhood significantly increased the risk of rheumatoid arthritis in adult, in adult smokers. In other words, for Pat, if you were uh, subjected to breathing in cigarette smoke when you were a kid and you were a smoker as you get older, the odds of suffering from rheumatoid arthritis increased significantly according to this article. Rheumatoid arthritis needs to be considered a toxicity issue. You know what? Pretty much all health challenges are going to, long-term chronic health challenges are going to have an element of toxicity. There's not a lot of things that can go wrong with cells and with structures in the body. Nutrition or lack thereof oxygen or lack thereof and toxification. Toxicity and toxicity includes sugar. If you're dealing with any of these autoimmune diseases, you really want to consider detoxification strategies. And that, by the way, includes NAC in addition to vitamin E, in addition to anything that helps your body process sugar, including reduced intake of sugar. If you have a chronic long-term de degenerative health challenge, if you have an autoimmune disease, God forbid you're dealing with heart disease or cancer, it is unspeakably important. There's no way to say how important it is that you reduce your intake of sugar. Sugar, after a small amount, which is used for energy by the brain and other structures in the body, is a toxin. And if you're just a regular person, you don't have any health challenges, that's one thing. But if you're dealing with some kind of long-term health issue, it really, really is key to keep your sugar intake down, as well as use detoxification strategies. And guess what? Prescription drugs count as toxins. They're anti-detoxification. If you recognize how important toxification is and how important detoxification is, you're not going to go near a prescription drug unless you're in agony uh, as a pain pill. Or, uh, and, and obviously, pain pills have their own downside. Pain pill addiction is a huge and significant health problem. Pain pills cause constipation, cause malabsorption of nutrients. There are times when you need pain pills, of course, but uh, get yourself off them as soon as possible. Antibiotics, likewise. There are times when you need antibiotics, but get yourself off of them as soon as possible. Okay, from Harvard's T.H. Chan School of Public Health, smoking linked with higher risk of type 2 diabetes. I don't want to beat up on cigarette smokers. I was a cigarette smoker myself, and I know it's really hard, and many, if not most, cigarette smokers wish they could quit. And it is super, super tough to quit. Now, this is one place where a prescription drug may help you. There are prescription nicotine gums and such patches that can help wean you off of cigarettes. And, and that's one time when you may want a prescription drug because as bad as prescription drugs are, they are nowhere near as bad as smoking, which may be the single most harmful thing that we can do to our bodies, that we do do to our bodies on a regular basis. This is a study from the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology current smokers, and people regularly exposed to secondhand smoke. Again, we see the impact of secondhand smoke and passive smoking on health. Current smokers and people regularly exposed to uh, uh, secondhand smoke, that is passive smokers, have significantly increased risk for type 2 diabetes compared with people who never smoked, and that's according to a new meta-analysis, uh, that is a, a study of other studies that was conducted by researchers at Harvard's T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Let me get to one more, and then we'll get your phone calls. This is about psoriatic arthritis patients, one of the, one of the nasty uh, associated health challenges with psoriasis. And by the way, if you have psoriasis, please understand, it is not a skin problem. It just shows up on the skin. It is a major sign of internal toxicity, and this is why uh, patients who have psoriasis are at higher risk for cancer, higher risk for heart disease, higher risk for an early demise, and higher risk for arthritis. In fact, there's actually a form of arthritis called psoriatic arthritis. According to this paper from the annual European Co uh, Congress of Rheumatology, they got two new drug classes for the treatment of psoriatic arthritis. These are drugs that shut down the immune system, that target the immune system, and only a medical professional can think that it's a smart idea to shut the immune system down. These are new drugs that are called biologics. You've probably heard of them. They're hard to pronounce. This one is called tofactinimab. Is that right? Tofactinib. Tofactinib. 
They have these weird names. The IB or the AB at the end stands for antibodies because these drugs work by, by killing antibodies. They target the antibodies. They target the cells of the immune system, the very defenders of the health of the body, the very defenders of the purity and pristine nature of the internal, the internal nature of the body are murdered by these new drugs. They target these antibodies. Oh yeah, your symptoms go away, but you're still sick. Just because they killed your immune system off doesn't mean, or temporarily suppressed it, doesn't mean you're better off even though your symptoms may improve. And this is very important. We're obsessed with symptoms. Your doctor is obsessed with symptoms because we don't like our symptoms. And because your doctor can't do anything else but shut down the symptoms. Again, showing the absolute failure, the absolute intellectual and biochemical lunacy and, and uh, biochemical and intellectual bankruptcy of using drugs to treat disease. They cannot help you with your disease even though they suppress symptomology. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Washington. And welcome Janet to the bright side. Good morning, Janet. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on? Um, my do- uh, my son uh, broke his leg in half. Oh no! And he's required to take a blood thinner after mm. surgery, mm-hmm. and it's uh, ex- Exnox, uh, uh, Exnoxperian, Lovnox. I'm sorry, say that again, Janet. Can you you Uh, tell me the name of it? Let me repeat it. It's Enoxperian. It's a a blood thinner? I can't really hear what you're saying, but it's a blood thinner. thinner. It's called Love Knock. Okay, so here's the deal with blood. First of all, they're nasty drugs, as you may know. Um, The body's blood coagulation or blood clotting chemistry is tightly regulated. It does not want to have that. It it takes a lot of poison to shut it down, put it that way. And this is why blood thinning drugs are so toxic. The blood thinning system is so important to the body that there's all of these little fail-safe mechanisms so it doesn't artificially clot or it doesn't clot or it doesn't thin inappropriately. Drugs have to bypass all those fail-safe mechanisms, and that makes them very, very toxic. Now, after surgery... Your body is, has undergone a lot of stress, and blood clotting is a sign of the stress response. It's kind of built into our evolutionary past. In the past, when we, when our, when, when our, we were bleeding, it wasn't because we had surgery. We were bleeding because, uh, we, were, bleeding because uh, we were eaten by a lion or a tiger. We got bit by a wild animal. So the body developed a system for clotting the blood up under conditions of emergency. So clotting represents an emergency. Surgery is an emergency to the body, so it's very common that the blood will thicken and clot, and that's why they give you blood thinners. Hang on, Jan. i got to take a break. We'll finish up. When we come back, we'll give you some ideas for getting off the blood thinners. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Be prepared. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Janet in Washington. So your son's on a blood thinning drug. Uh, yeah. Blood thinning drugs are terrible. Is it the only drug he's taking? Yeah, at this time. What what, what happened to him, by the way, to his leg? Um, he slipped down a slope, Ooh. and the, the way he fell just just uh, uh, cracked his. You know, he just broke. The, I'm in, sorry. In half. That's yeah, terrible. And That's terrible. Cool. How old is he? So they put, they, he's 25. Okay. They put a pin in with two screws on top of his, at his knee and two screws at his ankle. Mm. And I don't know how long it takes to heal. And I well, don't we're going to help him. We're going to help him heal. As well. There's a lot you could do with nutrition for healing the bones, number one. The surgeries they do these days are pretty darn amazing. I had knee surgery yeah. done almost 40, like 35 years ago. I had knee surgery done, and it was primitive based, based, uh, compared to how they do it today. I mean, it's amazing what they can do to repair broken bones. And this is really where the medical model shines. Give credit where credit mm-hmm. is due. I rip on the medical model all the time, but when it comes to acute injury, like healing a broken leg, it is it is miraculous what they can do. However, you got to do your part, and that is make sure your, or your son has to do his part to make sure he's taking care of his nutrition. Now, let's talk about the drug for a second, uh, the blood thinning drug. The body doesn't want the blood thinned unless it decides to, not unless your doctor decides to. Now, when you have surgical procedure, the blood will clot as part of the stress response, and this is what blood clotting is about. 
Uh, blood coagulation, it follows the stress response, long-term stress or short-term stress. Uh, like if you have a surgical procedure, this is an evolutionary mandated mechanism that keeps you from bleeding all over the, all over the, the African savanna when you've just been bit by a tiger. So after you've had a surgical procedure, your body doesn't know you had a surgical procedure. It thinks you just got bit by a wild animal, so it will clot the blood to keep you from bleeding to death. And what doctors will do is they'll give you a drug to thin the blood, typically heparin or sometimes warfarin or whatever it is they give you. The point is, is that as soon as you can get off the darn drug, get off of it. You've got to wean yourself off of it slowly. And to support your weaning off of the drug, you can use nutrition. Now, I want to, tell, I want to caution you something here, Jan, and anybody listening who wants to, is trying to wean themselves off any medication, really. If your doctor prescribes something and you're working with a doctor, you're in his hands. I mean, it's not fair to go around, do an end run, and try to do something else while you're going to the doctor because the doctor is trying to help you as best as he knows how. And I know I'm, I rip on the medical model daily, hourly. Every time I'm talking to somebody, I'm ripping on the medical model. But the doctors themselves are, doing, are trying to do what they think is a good job. They're trying to help you. And so to try to get on a, a supplement program or just stop your drugs, it's not fair to the doctor if you're being seen by the doctor. If you're working with a doctor, you've got to let him know what you're doing. That being said, vitamin E is a natural blood thinner, and it's incredible. Glucosamine is a natural blood thinner. Omega-3 fatty acids aren't natural blood thinners. And if I was your son, I would be starting these supplements while I'm talking to my doctor, letting him know what I'm doing, so that you can gradually wean yourself off of the medication. Now, so vitamin E omega-3 fatty acids, and glucosamine, and, and pretty much all of the uh, cartilage-containing uh, cartilage uh, cartilage components like glucosamine, hyaluronic acid, uh, the Fucoid Z also has uh, blood-thinning properties. So you can use those to help wean himself off of, with your doctors, uh, with your, the, the support and the knowledge of your doctor, to wean yourself off the meds. As far as building those bones go, there's lots you can do. Number one, protein. Make sure he's on a whey protein supplement if he could do that. A bone broth protein, uh, bone broth protein supplement will also help him. Bone broth in general will help him. Just chicken soup all day long uh, with the bones dissolved in the, in the water, of course. And then also uh, you can use things like uh, uh, glucosamine, which in addition to thinning the blood will help build connective tissue. Bones are connective tissue, by the way. And then uh, also vitamin C is the, probably the most important supplement for building connective tissue. So get your, get your son on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which will get you a big dose of vitamin, of vitamin C. Uh, you also might want to consider individual amino acids. Glutamine is probably going to be helpful. Arginine may also be helpful. Maybe a gram or two of glutamine every day, a gram or two of arginine every day. Those are individual amino acids that are found in bone broth protein and whey protein, the two best proteins going. Eggs and fish can also help him. If, he, if he's a meat eater, organ meats, make sure the meat is, is, a, is a hormone free and antibiotic free. You don't want to expose him to any unnecessary toxicity. And then of course minerals like zinc is extremely important. Magnesium and calcium are also very important for helping build bone. The mineral strontium, S-T-R-O-N-T-I-U-M, also has bone building properties. And last but not least, vitamin A is a major building vitamin. Works hand in hand with zinc and also works hand in hand with vitamin D. So making sure he's getting some sun, eating fish or fish oil, which contains vitamin D and using vitamin D supplements as well as vitamin A supplements, maybe 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A, maybe around 5,000 or so, um, 5,000 or so IU of vitamin D. Last but not least, uh, Janet, if you uh, send an email to ben at ksco.com, I'll send you my bone building protocol, which has a bunch of different supplements that are important for building bone. And I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your call, Jan. Anything else you want to add? No, perfect. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. All right, let's go to Florida and welcome Ben to the bright side. Good morning, Ben. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, pharmacist. I called you last week about my cousin. Uh, he was on dialysis, and they took him off and uh, because his body couldn't handle the dialysis, and I guess he was going to die. But you gave me some suggestions. But I, I need to tell you some more things that uh, recently happened. They put him sure. back on dialysis. Uh, why they took him off of dialysis? Because the dialysis was working, but his, uh, he has a, a weak heart uh, valve, a bad heart valve, and his body couldn't take the dialysis. But uh, So now he's back on the dialysis, and I was wondering what you would suggest uh, uh, maybe to strengthen his heart. 
Well, that's a good question because dia uh, kidney disease is basically heart cardiovascular disease. Kidney disease is dirty blood, simply put. It's dirty blood. The kidney filters the blood over the course of a lifetime of dirty, thick, sludgy blood. The kidneys become toxic, and this is why kidney disease is an epidemic. It is just unspeakable. The rates of, kidney, uh, rates of increase of kidney disease is absolutely through the roof. To, uh, there's 20 million Americans who have some level of long-term kidney disease. 20, one out of 15 Americans. Now, they'll tell you it's diabetes-related, and it is, but only because diabetes is about dirty blood. So you got to clean the blood. Most, the best way to clean the blood is to stop putting the toxicity into the blood. Now, obviously, this is, I think you told me that he was in his 70s, this guy. Is that right? Well, he, he's actually 65, and okay. uh, he, ha he had five years he's been, he's had uh, an autoimmune disease, a rare That's type exactly it. Type. When you have an autoimmune disease, the, you get immune cells, and we talked about this last week, circulating immune complexes, CICs, dirt, basically, if you want to just put it simply, dirt in the blood. Those, that, that dirt ends up depositing in various areas, especially the kidneys, which are made up of these microscopically tiny capillaries. I mean, ridiculously small and tightly wrapped. So it's very easy for these kidneys, for, for these vessels to become damaged. And once you have damage, you start an in, entire inflammatory cascade in the kidney. All right. So yeah, I don't want to, you know, you just want to help here and I'm going to give you some help. Clean the blood. Number one, you uh, stop putting the toxins into the blood. That especially includes sugar. This is a guy who has, and anybody who has this kind of kidney problem, has a zero tolerance, zippo, for sugar. He should be going ketogenic. That's a high-fat, uh, high uh, uh, moderate-protein, low-calorie diet. He should only be eating when he absolutely has to eat. Using nutritional supplements will help. I'd, be having on, I'd get him on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'd get him on the, uh, the, Sweeties, pro, uh, the Sweeties, which is a, a sugar-metabolizing nutrient. He's got to have diabetes, whether he's been diagnosed as such or not. He's got to have blood sugar problems or dysglycemia, I should say. So the Sweeties would help. The Fucoid Z is a, a, a general blood tonic. That will also help. Make sure he's using that. Electrolytes are also important. You'll get them in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but I'd be using vegetable juices as well. In fact, the bulk of his calories should be coming from liquids so that he, his digestive system has to do as little work as possible. When you have a chronic long-term emergency condition like this gentleman has, you want your body expending all of its resources on healing and recovery, not on digesting food, which is why eating less is, is going to help him. And by liquid his foods, that is using soups and juices and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, getting nutrients that are in liquid form will also help. I'd be using vitamin C. You'll get some of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but I'd be using extra vitamin C as well. It's just a general, general panacea almost. It's Dr. Thomas Levy calls it the primal panacea, and it is. It's good for everything. Maybe 2,000 or so milligrams a day in addition to the 1,000 that he'll get from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Probably a good idea to take some extra vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Selenium is also going to be helpful. The ultimate selenium is probably a good idea, maybe 400 or so micrograms a day as well. There's tons more you can do, but that's a great start for you. Thanks for your call, Ben. I appreciate it. We're just out of time on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com for all the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all our truth treatment products. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.